up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy nasim the dream it is that time of the week once again ladies and gentlemen we are gonna break down some of the news tracks that have dropped this weekend in my segment singles of the week i'm gonna give you my thoughts and i will give these tracks an official rating be sure to check them out all for yourselves they're all linked in the description down below let's get right into these new singles let's just begin off with this new cascade and the moth and the flame collab called angels we have heard this is like some kind of attempt of a christmas jingle based off like the whole aesthetic of the album art uh so i'm not into the singing uh the stutter on the chorus is a bit too choppy for me uh some more smoother envelopes on here would have been a lot more better in my opinion this doesn't really feel like a christmas song like i mentioned um it, it's it more more so feels like just like an ambient feels track like a random like rock pop track that's just like kind of used as like a youtube transition on like on um, how to bake bread or some random fucking niche shit like that like i don't know it wasn't awful but it was forgettable all right and then ari lennox is out with the track get close uh so for this one the instrumental is a little bit more one-dimensional than i had anticipated the singing is great for sure really endearing stuff that we have here it just falls flat with what's really going on behind ari and doesn't really give any complimentary factors to ari so yeah it's gonna be a uh, mid for me boss and then we're gonna move on to shy girl and kosha with the track uh, I freaking love when Shy Girl goes around with the techno scene. She is so made for this shit. And she nails it every time I hear her touch it. And I think it's just fantastic. I have a feeling a lot of people aren't going to think that highly of this track. So I'd be surprised if people views this as like below average. I think that's a bit harsh and just like a little unsensical. But like uh, I personally feel like this is a fun energetic house blend. So it's a solid, has a solid finish, awesome sound design for sure. Lots of ethereal aesthetics that I really did enjoy, that I adored on here, and it just bops, dude. It's fire. Now how about with Dolly Parton and Chris Stapleton with the track Night Moves? This is a part of Dolly Parton's newest record that is out called Rockstar. Uh pretty much her collabing with a bunch of different rock artists, country artists. Um uh so I felt like this was cool. For Chris, uh, I think it's awesome to see a legend link with one of the country's best, in my opinion. But they just do not compliment each other whatsoever. This rock instrumental is neat. I thought it was fine. It feels very classic, very throwback, nostalgia, and vintage. But, like, it just doesn't work to my ears. I, it's, it's, and then how about we're going to move on with health and the track Unloved. I am fucking obsessed with the atmosphere on this track. It is just so cool and sci-fi futuristic cyberpunk type feel it, it cruising through the night city and like a delorean it, it really does just insert that type of vibe and i really do enjoy it like the chorus is something that i feel like could have definitely been stronger to really elevate the entirety of the song but everything else just really resonated with me so i'm gonna toss this a green and then with mr helaro negro with the track i just want to wake up with you this is a great peek at the upcoming record uh with helaro coming out very soon i love the way he just blends elements of folk and electronics so well it just becomes mesmerizing every time i hear something new that he produces the mix is well fitted i thought it was like a very tight mix but it worked really well like a really wide dynamic in here that was very impressive towards the end sequence as well with the sound placements and all these effects were also uh very nice touched up and yeah it's just fire with bleachers moving on with the track alma matter fucking yelped when i heard lana on this i was so dope so dope hidden little feature on here uh especially with the writing as well such a wonderful ballad from jack i might say this reminds me so much of like the dark indie work that he'd be like adding to his debut uh specifically who i want to love you uh is the one uh, that i really really thought about first when i heard this track uh and a lot more of the new record inserted on this mainly mainly because of like the heavy jazz instrumentation even a little bit of the 1975 i would even say especially because of the new record i really did love this it really made me feel about remind me about all of those type of songs that i hear that i hear from that are kind of related to jack and yeah it was just this it just has incredible producing super clear and bold electronics they have bite to it and of course i love the vocals all around it's just fire as hell so good and then we have Collagro 2 out now and this is from two chain and then we have the big two chains and little wayne sequel Collagro 2 out right now i'm going to be briefly talking about the track big diamonds so um 21 savage is very awkward in the beginning it 
I don't like how he just kind of inserted in so many different things with songs that I hear about him that just like don't work in his favor. Just things that like I, I appreciate that he's trying out new things, but with these dance rhythms, dude, it's just it's just weird. I just don't like it. It, it doesn't sound good on him. Um, verse wise, twenty one or not twenty one, two two chains and Lil Wayne, they're fine, but I can't get past that. It, it, it's just so weird. It could be worse, I guess. Moving on with Basement Jack and Hunter Gex with the track Where's My Head At. It's like a single loop of a dubstep sample that isn't exciting at all to me. I like that they helped with the type of sound that this was producing, but the workload is just so minimal. It really only works as like a YouTube ad or something. So no. Mannequin Pussy is out with the track. Sometimes I thought this was killer. I felt everything came together in the course very smooth, but still loud enough to feel like a true punk thrasher. Like I I really loved with the way it walked you out to the outro. That's the thing that really stood out to me the most on this track. Something about like the the post aggression exerted and just like, you know, you're just wallowing in that lightheadedness that after just letting out all that rage and energy, like you're kind of just like you're in that cool down mode. Like it it, it was it was just executed at like the right time and i really felt like it, it really heightened my experience with this track so yeah this is just yet another solid one from yet a solid punk group moving on with the track from emotional oranges and ananso amadi with the track nowhere it's it's not bad in terms of like the warm atmospheres in there i kind of like it it's like a really nice and settling but like it has like with like you know like a soft touch of like lo-fi and r&b i might say but it lacks so much dynamic it is just so stiff and it really needed help on here i mean like it really did like the beat damn near sounded like it was just a preset like not even sounding like it was finished at all yet so yeah i'm not a fan then we'll move on with the band the smile releasing yet another single called a wall of eyes all right so let's just say it. this song is just absolutely phenomenal like i I was head over heels for the song. This song was nearly, this was one of the runner ups. Like this was, there was a lot of great songs on this list, but this was definitely one of the big runner ups for the single of the week. So it is huge in terms of its exploration and experimental folk music. I love the transformations that it gets when it feels like it's in this like three phases. Like it has gorgeous harmonies on here. I love wonderful textures, giving it that heavenly out of this world feel. And it has a great runtime that felt like it, it peaked at every single second that went by buy so like it didn't get rushed nor did it like stay overstay its welcome so i loved it it's amazing and then with everything everything with the track the mad stone so this one was a lot of fun a vast amount of personality displayed which i feel like is just a great stepping stone for this band i feel like they really know how to use that to their advantage it's really cool to see how they can really pull out of that vocal range while still keeping steady and not branching off too wildly like not making this too goofy so it's a good addition from everything everything if you like that alternative pop rock sound you should definitely check them out next up with bj the chicago kid on the track honey featuring chloe these two sound amazing together i love the smooth funk and soul influences it honestly doesn't even feel like a chloe feature it just feels like a just a single like independent like co-collab from these two so i think that says a lot about chloe's feature how much she really stood out on here i like bj a lot too but man they like they really pulled it off well. So good. Great teamwork and just simple and sweet. I like it. Moving on with Cage the Elephant coming out with an extension of their old 2011 record. Thank you. Happy birthday. I haven't seen them record in a while ever since like the Metallica covers. So uh, honestly, to me, this is just like your average acoustic piece with Matt Schultz singing. Not bad. It actually sounds nice, but like it's, it's I don't know. It, it's not memorable to me. It's kind of just like... You hear, um, it's pretty much like sounds like, a, like an acoustic version of like an original piece. And it's like, it's fine, but. And then we got the stabs out with the track all now. I really did enjoy this listen a lot. Such a fresh breath of air of indie music. Great uses of electronic music, folk music, pop music. This is definitely one of the better indie groups that really come out recently. This reminds me a lot of the uh, like persona of Haim. And it, it just... It, mainly because yes it is three of them so like that's kind of why i think of it a lot and they're also in the indie genre but just because of like the awesome talent the chemistry between each of these ladies it's just wonderful it really does just really elevate uh how much these ladies can really put on the table in terms of their teamwork so i i felt like this was definitely a track that's like a good sample for someone that hasn't heard of the staff so you should check it out moving on with nightmare rez and death by rami with the track all right 
this was big. This was a big one that many EDM listeners have wanted for the longest time. They've been craving this collab. It's exactly what I thought it'd sound like. Dubstep mixed with future bass, mixed with techno, and a lot of chaos. And it's fun. It has some decent melodies, awesome production. Absolutely awesome production. And this is going to be definitely a heavy favorite for most in the EDM community. I can see myself getting sick of it after a few plays, but I really didn't enjoy it, so I'm gonna have to support this. And then we're gonna move on with this heavenly, heavenly, heavenly new song from her. It is called The Glass Guys. This song is remarkable. It is, it is every single bit of existential talent from her put into this song. Like, take away everything. Take away the acoustics, the overall atmosphere filling in the gaps for the mix, the effects on her vocals, the chords. The song is still amazing. Without everything going on, she is still blissful on this track on a whole different level. Her talent is unforgettable. On top of the singing already being insane, the instrumental is luscious as hell still. Like, completely compliments her in every single way, shape, and form. Listen, I've already said enough. Just go play the damn song. It is so, so beautiful. And then with Brittany Howard on the track, Red Flags, we have the beautiful Earth, Wind, and Fire from the beautiful Queen of Soul with this track. She is back in red, doing her thing with her extravagant alternative rock influences that are just, as usual, profound in its raw beauty. And there is a moment in the middle of the track that just didn't feel right to me. It had like this like murmur effect to it. Like it kind of just like had like a a stutter in between it. it. It sounded like it wasn't supposed to be there. It didn't really correlate at all with the rest of the track. So it, it, it felt like an error. Maybe it was intentional. It probably was. But either way, I didn't think it worked. But either way, all, all around, the song is still so good. It's so good to see Britney back. Moving on, Mukama with the Machine, Big Ghost, LTD, and El Camino with the track Been Through. I bet money that this track will be featured in the next GTA. I, I know the GTA probably won't come back for like another two years. But uh, I get heavy San Andreas vibes from it. I mean, it really does resonate really well with the West Coast boom bap in the best ways, of course. Uh, the like the the sine waves into the leads and here the beachy guitar licks, like just real authentic feeling West Coast style. And I think it just really executed that well. So to me, it's golden. With BB on the track, Amigos with Becky G. I yet again thought this is such a fun track. I'm telling you, there's a, great, a lot of great tracks that came out this week. So I was really enamored immediately from the leads from Becky G. Just punching right into it, getting right, not wasting a single moment in time. BB did her thing as well. I thought she was also solid. All in all, just like an upbeat, fun, energetic pop but I get tone mix that just was just all in all amazing. Like it was just so much fun. Yeah, it's familiar. The formula is somewhat tongue in cheek and just predictable. But at the same time, like BB does things on here that makes it unique. Like it, it throws off some of the sequences that in the way that you just don't necessarily hear. And they show they showed that they had a lot of fun on this, which is why I think the song succeeds a lot farther than most people would expect and a lot more than i would expect so yeah this is also gonna earn the fire all right and then we're gonna move on to the track that i chose to react to for this week's reaction video that is gonna go to tate mcrae's newest track x's now be sure to go check out that video to get my full breakdowns and thoughts and reaction as you are gonna indeed want to see that especially if you're a tate mcrae fan please go watch the video and um i'm gonna give you my official rating right here I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking about it a lot. It's fun. I had a good time with it. But I feel like I have to be honest about the longevity of the track. I feel like I have to give it the yellow. So go check out why. And the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen, the track that I chose to end off this week's Singles of the Week is going to go to the newest cover from Boy Genius and Ye Vagabond's newest track, The Party Glass, which is a cover to the tribute and devotion of the work of Shanae O'Connor. This There's been so many great covers of this track over the years like endlessly like from hosier the list goes on there's been so many bands and artists that have sung this song i think this one stands out the most to me i felt like i was so seeped so deep into my sorrow i found myself getting emotional during this listen like this is just such a sorrowful tune that i feel like had beautiful influences of in of uh, irish folk and just incredible delicacy i mean like it felt like 
true artists really grieving throughout their singing. It it was powerful, such a powerful piece from these ladies, and and wonderful work from the Yay Vagabonds too. Who do really great instrumental work on here, um, and that are um, Irish folk artists. Really, really awesome. I love this track. It's sad. It's sad, especially if you're a Sinead O'Connor track, but man, it is beautiful. It really, really dug deep in me, and that is why this is the single of the week. And that is it for this week's Singles of the Week, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go on and like, share, and comment down below of what you thought of these tracks. Do not forget to check them out for yourselves. They are all linked in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Doses.